Thanks for joining me, everyone, for another episode of Cabin Fever Faith. Father Leroy Shiro here. Yeah, I'm out of my food plot, um, which happens to be in the field of oats, and it's getting ready for harvest, and it's looking pretty good overall, so uh, can't complain. Um, we've had some timely rains that we needed very much, and um, yeah, but uh, you know what I noticed in our field, as good as it looks, however, if you look around the whole field, uh, there's some weeds out here. So you can see that those are the green tall ones that shouldn't be in this field. And it reminds me of the parable of Jesus in Matthew chapter 13. It's the parable of the weeds and the wheat. And Jesus tells a parable of a, of a farmer who plants the good seed, plants the wheat in the field. But then along come at night comes the bad neighbor who plants weeds within, within the wheat, so to speak. And as it grows and time goes on, the farmer discovers this. And he says, boy, there's something wrong here. And, and so the servants asked the farmer, they said, you know, what should we do? Uh, should we go ahead and pull the weeds out? And surprisingly, the farmer says, no. If you pull the weeds, some of the wheat will come with it. Let's wait till harvest time, just like this. And then when we harvest, we will separate the good seed from the bad, the, the wheat we will put in our barn, and the weeds we will throw in a fire to burn. Well, that parable really stands, the farmer is God, and the field is the world. And, um, and God sows the good seed into his field, but along comes the devil that sows the bad, right? And the angels are the servants who say, well, what should we do? And God is like the good farmer. He says, no, wait, wait till harvest time to separate the weeds from the wheat. And, and um, yeah, because if you pull the, weed, the weeds out, some of the wheat will come with. In other words, if God were to take all the bad things out of our life at once, a lot of good people would fall into despair. It would be overwhelming for us. So God patiently waits um, for, for the weeds and wheat to come to, to harvest. The other thing is this. God is not only just aware that good and evil exist in our world side by side, but sometimes he allows it so that the good can become better. The wheat can be, or the oats in this case, because we're in an oats field, uh, becomes even better than it, than it could have been uh, before. And uh, yeah, and it's easy to extinguish, you know, uh, to distinguish, so to speak, because if you look here, you know, I've got a, the field looks pretty clean out this way, but you come over here and it gets a little bit a uh, little bit messy but you know what you can tell the good seed from the bad right away and so god waits to harvest harvest is the end of time end of the world when god will judge the living and the dead the good from the bad the good people will put in his barn which is called heaven and the bad people he will uh yeah put in the put in the fire like any good farmer would i'm going to show you a demonstration of this um yeah so here's a weed Right over here, this is called ragweed, giant, giant ragweed, right here. I'll, have to, I'll see, if I pull this out, what's gonna happen, right? Let's see, oh, okay. Let's see, look what happened. There's that big, there's a big clump of dirt that came out with that weed, this giant ragweed. But what else came out? Some of the, some of the oats and some of the good seed as well. And that's what God wants to prevent in our life. So God patiently waits for those things to be separated out. The weeds from the wheat. Yes, at harvest time. You know, what? so the question is, you know, what are the weeds uh, in your wheat, so to speak? What are the things you struggle with in life? And chances are some of those struggles are going to take a, a lifetime to resolve or to work out. But don't worry. In the end, God will separate those things. God will make good even better. And um, the bad things, God will separate in our life too. And at the harvest time, at the end of the world, when he judges the living and the dead. So, yeah, I think we all have a little bit of weeds and weed in our life that we need to kind of keep an eye on and, and uh, yeah, and uh, watch out for. This week I was driving uh, along a road and I saw a road sign that said, uh, uh, God's got it. In other words, no matter what our trouble is, God is aware of it. God will take care of it. The important thing for us is to have that faith and that trust and, and for the long term uh, to hold on to it and uh, yeah, see it through the end. So 
and the Lord will take care of the rest. So, yeah, Father Leroy Shiro, uh signing off, Cabin Fever Faith. Good that you can join us, or join me, I should say, us being the, the, the oats and the wheat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's keep growing. Keep growing in our faith, keep growing by God, and let's keep trying to keep those weeds in our life at bay. And in the end, as I said, uh, God will take care of the rest. So God bless.